hello everybody and welcome to another youtube video and uh, in today's video we are going to be talking about the concept of the chromeback alpha test and uh, in simple terms the chromeback alpha test is actually a measure that we use to like quantify or define the internal consistency over uh, a data so let's take for example we actually have a survey data and we have responses from this survey so the goal of this survey is that we want the responses of the respondents to be the same all through whenever we actually perform a survey now it only makes sense that the responses of the participants is actually kind of similar to each other it should be the same but it should be similar or it should be consistent over the number of items or over the items that we have in the survey so that means uh in the long run the responses of the individuals that participated in the survey should be consistent over the number of items present in the survey and this is where the chromeback alpha test comes inside so the chromeback alpha test is a form of a reliability test that we use to measure the internal consistency of responses over a sample data most times in survey data or in research data so i'll be using this card data set and i'll be assuming that each of those value right here are actually responses from people okay and then i'll be trying to see if there is actually a consistency in the value of response by the people that actually filled the questionnaire that gave me this data set so if your chromeback alpha coefficient is actually greater than 0 0.70 then we can definitely say that uh, the variables or the items that are in your data set in your survey uh, data are actually internally consistent with each other and if your chromeback alpha is actually lesser than 0 0.70 then definitely the variables are not consistent or they are not internally consistent with each other so how do you perform a chromeback alpha test in spss all we have to do is to come to analyze and you come down to scale and then you're going to be seeing your reliability analysis all right so it asks you for the model you can see we have the alpha we have the omega we have the split half we have the gut man and the parallel and the strict parallel but we are just all about the alpha so we just click on the alpha so you give your scale a label let's just say um test label let's just give it a name of test label all right so it asks us for the items okay so uh, let me just pick wheel base uh car length car width and car height okay uh i don't need to talk about the ratings right here it's not needed so the statistics you can pick anything you want to see probably you want to see a chi square the friedman chi square the cotran chi square the f test you know just pick the one that suits you if you want the correlations the covariances you know i don't need any of this so i'll just pass then i click on ok and it runs the test and as you can see so it says that uh this is the reliability statistics and our chromebox alpha is actually 0 0.736 now the number of items that are actually selected we have just four items okay so based on these four items alone okay now the chromeback alpha is actually 0 0.736 that means there is actually this form of internal consistency between the four items that i actually selected now let us perform this same test but this time we actually impute all of the numerical variables as a uh, item okay so let's come to analyze we come to scale then we actually take all of those back in uh, then we pick the numerical variables right so we have car id we have symbol in we have um the wheelbase we have the car length we have the car width we have the car height we have the curb weight we have the engine size we have the bore ratio we have the stroke we have the compression the compression ratio rather and we can just select all of this and just stick it in okay then I can decide to name this test label nothing much and then we click on ok and as you can see the number of items have actually increased to 16 and our chromeback alpha has actually dropped to one to 0 0.109 actually so that means that there is actually no consistency between all of the 16 numerical variables that we actually have 
in this data set but the first four that we picked earlier on are actually very consistent with each other so this is just the basis of the chromeback alphas test so if you learned something new from this video and you also enjoyed this video i would really appreciate if you can give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to this youtube channel do you have some questions for me or you feel like i missed something please go down to the comment section and drop your question i'll be willing and waiting to answer all of them thanks for making it to the end of this video and we'll see you in the next one bye for now